Hey guys, this is Shay from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another Retro Bowl video. And this video is one that I've seen requested quite a bit in the comments. And I'm guessing a lot of you will be watching. Because I think it's a pretty popular topic. And that is how to make coaching credits and make them as quickly as possible. I'm going to try to be as concise as I can be. But it will take a couple minutes to go through all the options. So hopefully... You guys can bear with me. Let's jump right into things. The first way to make coaching credits, I'm going to put up some examples on the screen, is through interactive decisions that pop up between weeks. Sometimes you'll have a meeting or an interaction where one option is to meet with the owners and get a coaching credit. The other is to meet with like the team or the coach and get them experience. Now, certainly, if you need the experience, get the experience, but otherwise meet with the owners and take the coaching credit. When it comes to bye weeks, you can actually get two coaching credits from that interaction instead of one. So if you're really chasing coaching credits, that's going to be your most important interaction. In addition to taking the positive coaching credits, there will be interactions where you can either not spend coaching credits or spend coaching credits to avoid a negative result. In these cases, don't spend the coaching credit because a coaching credit saved is a coaching credit earned. By not spending one, you have one more than if you would have spent one. So that's the first way. The second way we're going to the coaching staff under training regime. If you set your training regime too hard, you are going to get more coaching credits from leveling up your players. The reason being, once you have a player where their attributes cannot be upgraded any further from where that player is at, each time they gain an experience level, instead of giving you an attribute upgrade, the player will give you one coaching credit. Editor Skull here, if you have a coach go past level 10, you'll get one coaching credit each time they level up as well. By having the training regime on hard instead of medium or light, you'll level up faster and you'll get more of those coaching credits for max level players. Now this does come with the downside of players potentially getting hurt, but again, you'll level players up faster the harder your training regime is and you'll get more coaching credits more quickly through max level players. Number three is simply playing games. Every time you complete a game, you will get between one and three coaching credits depending on your difficulty and depending on your fan support. Extreme, you can only get two coaching credits max. The other difficulties, you can get three coaching credits max. If you look at fan support, fan support is going to determine how many coaching credits you get for each game. If your fan support is into the third bar, which is over 67%, you will get the maximum number of coaching credits per game, which will be three on the lower difficulties and two on extreme. If you're in that middle bar, you'll get two coaching credits. If you're on the lower bar, you'll only get one coaching credit. Now, how do you upgrade fan support? There are four main ways. Number one, you can upgrade your stadium unless... Like in this case, the save I'm on has a maxed out stadium. Each time you increase stadium, you bring some fans into the stands and it boosts your fan bar. That being said, it normally costs more coaching credits to upgrade the stadium than you're going to get back for the upgrade. But if you're at like 28%, you could upgrade maybe for two coaching credits, get to 33, 34%, and then get two coaching credits per game for the next few games when you'd be waiting to upgrade. So in some cases, it can work. The next way is through winning games. Each time you win a game in Retro Bowl, your fan support automatically increases a few percentage points because your fans are always going to be happy when you win. So losing games, you're going to automatically lose fan support. So it's really important that you win to keep building those fans throughout the season. You can also get a coach. Let's see if there's any that I can show right now. I don't think there are, but there is a coach skill, kind of like it says negotiator here, but the coaching skill is for fan favorite. So you get the fan favorite coaching skill that will automatically boost your fan support because your fans will love your coach. Now, the caveat with that is if and when you fire or replace that fan favorite coach, your fan support will take a hit. But 
early on, it could be good to get that fan support. And then once you're at 100%, let's say, like right now I'm at 100% if I fired a fan favorite, I might drop to 90% or 80%. I don't know the exact number, but I could absorb that hit because I could keep building my fans back up by continuing to win games. And then finally, those interactions that will give you direct coaching credits, some of them will give you an option for fan support. Any time that I have an option for fans and no option for coaching credits, I always take the fan support because that is going to indirectly boost my coaching credits. So it's the second best option to actually getting coaching credits themselves. And then truly the last way to make coaching credits in Retrobowl, I'm going to show you right now as I proceed to the start of a new season. It's actually through the draft. Now, you have all these draft picks, and yes, let's say you want to draft players, you can, but if not, if you skip your draft picks, first round picks, you can sell for three coaching credits each. I have four of them, so I just got 12 coaching credits. I went from 183 to 195. I got two for my second round pick, and I'm going to get one for my third round pick. So you can get coaching credits for selling your draft picks back to the game. And one final thought with winning games, winning the Retro Bowl will give you a bonus of 10 coaching credits for winning the championship game. But that is truly all of the ways to make coaching credits in Retro Bowl for free as fast as possible. Of course, you can always buy coaching credits, but that's not really the purpose of this video. Although if you want to buy coaching credits, supporting a great game, I would recommend it. These are all the free ways to make coaching credits. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you are new and found this video helpful for more Retro Bowl content. I have the Wheel of Retro Bowl series. I also have several guides on this channel, and I'll be making more guides. Let me know in the comments, did you find this helpful? Also, let me know in the comments what other videos you would like to see me make. But with all of that being said, that's going to do it for now. I'm Jay from Skull Gaming Network. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And until next time, and as always, peace out.